Hi everyone and welcome to episode number three in our Config Mass 2022. My name is Johan and in this session you will learn to use the task sequence debugger in Config Manager. Demo time. Now, before diving into how you enable the debugger, back in the days before the debugger, and the debugger has been available since Config Manager 1906. It was added as a pre-release feature back then. So about it would take three years. But before that, if you needed to do troubleshooting of a specific step in a sequence, what you usually would do would be something like this. Where you would add in a pause, either before or after the step that you were troubleshooting, it will open up a command prompt and then you would do some troubleshooting there. Now, with the introduction of the task sequence debugger, you don't have to do that anymore. To enable it, you simply set a variable, so in my case, this sequence here is deployed to this collection. So if I go to that particular collection and go to properties, go to collection variables, you can see that I have set the variable named tsdebugmode equals true. And this is how you toggle this one on or off for different deployments. And that means if I go to a client or a virtual machine, I'm going to take this one here, Going to go to a clean snapshot. Going to move it to the Stockholm location. I'm going to boot it up. Starting Pixie. And the reason this boot image is coming down fairly quickly is because I have changed the default settings for the WSLS provider in Config Manager or the WSLS Pixie Responder. That one actually uses the same Pixie values or TFTP block size values as the old responder did. So if I go to one of my DPs just to show you real quick, what I have done here in the registry, in this particular key here, I have bumped it up I'm going to adjust that a little bit and set a block size to about 8K, not about 8K, exactly 8K, and a window size of 2. And that usually works well for most hardware these days. It's way better than a default value in terms of performance at least. But anyway, that was a little sidebar. Back to our client. I'm going to log in or provide the password for the Pixie boot. And then as soon as I pick one of my sequences here, I'm going to pick this one. It will immediately launch the debugger and I can start work with it. So if I wanted to have a pause about, about the same place as I had my manual pause before, I would simply put the select a step here. I will go ahead and set a breakpoint and I will go ahead and run the sequence and it will now stop at that point. I'm going to download the gather step first or the gather package. And it will now stop at this step. At that point now, I can open up a command prompt, will be the equivalent of pressing F8. Or I can open up the log file right away in CM Trace. It will open up the SMSTS log file. If you would click cancel here, it will actually abort the sequence. If you click quit, it will simply quit the debugger. So if I'm happy with my troubleshooting at this point, I can simply click quit, the sequence uh, or the debugger stop, and the sequence will continue. So very, very easy to implement. That's all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow for episode number four. Have a great rest of your evening. Goodbye for now.